Well, hello guys. Um, welcome back to the channel. Here is what I have done to the to the actually uh, the fuselages. Uh, the, you know that they come on the side. Um, actually, you know the the motor that I'm gonna use is a Joker. If you can see here. A Joker V3 motor from Lindinger. It's actually their Joker. It's rebranded. It, it is uh, 55 or 60. One second, let me check. Yes, is uh, 50 60. If you see here, it's a uh, 50 60 um, 470 kV. It gives a plenty, plenty of power. It's very very good motor and it was really like you know it comes with five five bolts it's really really good I'm impressed with the quality of it I think it will give plenty of power as an um, uh, ESC I'm using the JP uh, 100 um, amp uh, which is really good and I have put it down there be in between sandwich it in between the wing right in between the wing and the lower part um i know that you know i sh you know it would be good to put it somewhere like here because it will get enough of air however um the thing is like this won't break a sweat because the power of this engine the setup of this engine i think i will i will fly it like the most of the time uh, one quarter one half of, of throttle so it won't break a sweat so and plus I did some some channels here so it will get some um, some air in but I don't think that it needs so much because it's already like um, it will have enough uh, the next thing what I did if you can see here usually this this tray should come on top of this right it should come really on top of this level so what i did i've lowered this down uh why i did that is because i'm using the the um uh 5800s uh 6s zp battery and if i'm placing it down there it comes nicely and that latch then on top it comes really really good on top you know if you if you know what i mean so um that's what i did that's what i've done i've i've actually lowered it down um i strapped down the esc um here i had from the previous one if you can see i had those spacers uh that i put everything or it's already you know uh, attached here it's a sh with the shrink wire i've already attached it the, mo the motors are running to the outside uh like the real plane head uh next thing is you if you can see here i made the tray for the for the gear door servo which comes here and the gear door servo if you can see let me just give you a little bit of light so one second sorry sorry how to do that ah, there you go you see it's an this is an actually the mini gear metal gear servo mini servo which came with the lexian b25 mitchell bomber it was i had it and they had this uh kind of um um you know two arm actually it's one arm servo but it has another arm this is like a plastic that you put on top and it opened both sides if you know what i mean so um what i did next is like you know i've, I've placed those servo arms here and here uh, as you can see and i've attached it i've put it the upside down um why because of this servo that it is actually you know uh if you see if you see mm, sorry guys it's a little bit of problem with this you know i should put this down but if you see right it, it it is very close to this servo and actually the if you i would put it the other side it will actually bump to that servo and it won't properly close so now the doors are properly closing and properly opening 
and I'm very happy with it. As you can see, I'm using the um, stock uh, retracts. Hopefully they work. Um, and here are the two servos, the elevator servo and the um, rudder servo. Uh, the change that I did as well here is was that, you know, usually what I'm doing here, I'm putting the bolts, right? The bolt uh, joints, right? The ball rings, right? Here and here. Uh, actually, I've put this one um, and I have put the bolts on the other side, I mean, on the servo. Why? Because it, you know, here in this part, you know, the servo, as you see, it's turned upside down. So if I need some adjusting or something, I cannot come here to the servo and adjust it because everything is turned upside down. You can't even see the arm of the servo. So what I did, I've, I've, I've put it. I've put it here, hopefully this works. Of course, I a little bit shimmed this rod, so it stays now in place. And I've put, um, you know, a little bit of um, um, tightener um, inside uh, the, I mean, the, what's that called? I don't know, you know, so that it, 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 it holds screws on place. Uh, and I also made a change and I've put, uh, you know, I've made those arms uh, and I put them in because I think and I screw them from this this side you don't see that but I screw them so they are very sturdy and this won't fall out from the um, from place and you know you need the elevator of course so that's that's really what I've done here I just glued it in but it stays quite quite good in so uh, basically the elevator is as well in already um, it's, it, it is screwed here with this screw, if you can see. Uh, so the elevator is as well in. Uh, so basically, this is everything what I've done to the whole thing. And um, I will just show you now how it all runs and cycles so that you can see how this thing works um, and the engine and everything. So. Um, Bear with me for a well, second. As you can see now, everything sits on place. Uh, actually, the the lipo is in. I have also made it like this. If you can see here, that I've put the cables down there, so it actually secures that. You know, prevents that opening, and it sits really, really nice. It's it's a perfect fit. Um, also from the from the part of the. The dead and that closes perfectly down and holds the battery on place. So this is it. Now let me just uh, look at the engine. The engine runs. You see, it runs on the outside. It runs really, really nicely. You see. So it works really, really fine. And now the gear doors. So they close down. I'm happy and not happy with these gear doors because they are not perfectly in line. And this was a little bit my mistake. Uh, uh, however, it is okay. You know, it, I will survive with that. So there we go. And then the, this goes out. You see it opens. There we go. And now again, you know, I close that. As you can see. There you go. So everything sits nicely. All those are working very nicely. So uh, let me open again. So there you go. The doors goes out. The gear doors comes out. And that's basically the whole thing I have done to this uh, to those fuselages so as you can see everything is already linked everything is already hooked everything is screwed so all is in place so thank you very much for watching